Howdy folks, I'm Renee Brack and this is Movie Juice. This week we take you on an exclusive visit to the set of Shandon Pictures, which is big news for us. But first, here's what else is making headlines. His dramatic role as Randy the Ram in The Wrestler brought Mickey Rourke back into the limelight, earning him the Golden Globe and an Oscar nomination. Now the actor is ready to take on a lighter role in Iron Man 2. Rourke will play Whiplash, a Russian villain up against Robert Downey Jr. as Tony Stark. Yeah, there you go. That's not bad, is it? <laughs> if you've ever thought of cloning Kira Knightley, you're not alone. The Oscar-nominated actress will star in the sci-fi thriller Let Me Go, about three people who discover their clones created solely for organ donation. Shooting is set to begin next month in England. I don't know why, there's a trapdoor somewhere. And Steve Carell is getting pumped up. He's set to produce the masculinity comedy High Tea, about a man who goes through uncontrollable mood swings after an injury forces him to receive injections of testosterone. Carell reportedly hasn't decided whether he'll also star in the film. 9.30 every Thursday night, you can see a brand new episode of the AFI-nominated comedy Shandon Pictures. Season two is exclusive to Movie Extra. I was lucky enough to go on the set this year to find out what we can expect from all the crazy characters this time round as we move out of the world of their production office and back to explore their old roots. Tom, at the end of series one, yeah. gets his big break for Hollywood. Well, when you say he gets his big break for Hollywood, he, he goes to Hollywood of his own volition. Yes. He doesn't, no one really invites him. How's your trip to the States? Oh, it was the best thing that ever could have happened to me. The two weeks? Yeah, it was about a month, actually. Oh, Carmichael said it was only two weeks. Well, no, it was February. Which is a short month. So almost a month. Everyone in Adelaide thought you were going forever. Mm. We start off, uh, you know, we're a little bit vulnerable. Uh, the whole team's a little bit vulnerable and, and kind of fragile because Tom's abandoned us to go to Hollywood. You know, when Tom went to Hollywood, we thought he was gone for good. Thought my life in the movies is life that I've worked really hard for. Gotten. He doesn't want to make the big films, Larrabee. Tom seems happy. Lucy, you learn uh, more about her, where she's from. You go to Cannon Stutz, the Greyhound Farm, where you meet her mother and father, and you work out why she's not training dogs. Where we meet her young beau, Boise, a backward sort of fellow, more akin to sling blade than a model. A lot happens to her, and yeah, it's, it's been a great adventure. Nick in this series, I guess, it's kind of separates a little bit. He emotionally um, has this other thing that's very important to him that becomes a driving storyline for him to desperately make money. Yeah, I'm hoping they'll be smart too. Well, sure, that'll be a bonus. No one wants dumb kids. Trust me, son, if they're healthy, that's all that matters. You know, that's what people say, but what if they're ugly? Catch Shandon Pictures on Extra every Thursday night. The wonderful French actress Juliette Binoche is in a new movie called Summer Hours. It's a drama about family, death and what surviving members do with the valuable and sentimental things that belong to their deceased mother. What makes these tough decisions even harder to make is the fact that some people need money more than memories. <laughs> Qu'est-ce qu'elle disait Elle disait qu'après sa mort, la maison serait vendue, que c'était inévitable. Mon souci, c'est qu'on soit tous d'accord, qu'on prenne la décision qui convienne à tout le monde. J'imaginais rien du tout, je suis très attaché à cette maison comme je pensais que nous l'étions tous, donc je ne faisais pas de calcul. Non, ah mais ça n'a rien à voir, attends, j'y suis aussi attaché, mais... Vous voulez pas, on parlait un petit peu plus tard, on... tout à l'heure. Elle me disait aussi qu'un jour, ce euh, sera à mon tour d'emmener mes enfants ici, quand j'en aurai. If you'd like to see Summer Hours for free, go to moviejuice.tv, find the freebies button, enter your details and answer this question in 25 words or less. What's your favourite memory of a summer when you were a child? 
I love Peter Sellers, I love Steve Martin. And now the sequel to the remake of The Pink Panther is in cinemas for you to see. The support cast is pretty amazing. Jeremy Irons, John Cleese, Andy Garcia, Jean Reno, Alfred Molina and Lily Tomlin. This time round, Inspector Clouseau is still the bumbling detective, joined by a dream team. The crime scene is like a code. You decipher it and it will lead inexorably to the criminal. And that is why it must always be kept in pristine condition. Good day. I am Inspector Jacques Clouseau of the French police. Sono Vincenzo Rocara Squaragialupi Branca Leoni. I'm Kenji Matsudo. Kenji Matsudo. Randall Pepperidge. Randall Pepperidge. And this is my associate, Gilbert Ponton. And this is Nicole. Nicole is here to service your needs. And now, there is a crime scene waiting. Oh, excuse me. El Sino de Crimo. That is not Italian. And I do speak English. Oh, really? Prove it. I love playing the role, so I'm happy to do sequels to this movie. And, uh, you know, each time you learn more about what works and what doesn't. So, uh, and it's enjoyable. It's, it's, a, it's a very friendly shoe. We've always had uh, friendly, nice people on the set, and so it's very enjoyable. When the opportunity came to, to partake in this, with not only Steven, but the other actors that I knew were, were going to be involved, like Alfred and, uh, and Emily Mortimer and John Cleese, and, and then Jeremy Irons came on board. So, you know, you knew that it was attracting a, a, a great cast. And that's, you want to be in those situations. And because ultimately all you have is the memory of doing a film. You know, once you make the movie, you probably never see it again. And let the memories stick with you. And uh, so far, the memories have been very good. There are one of your romantic moments. There are kind of very touching moments. And also, comedy has to have a particular rhythm where you kind of, you know, you, you ride a crest of a wave and things are relaxed. And they pick up again and they relax. You know, it's a bit like music in that sense. So, um, so we get we get lots of opportunities to see the characters in their both in their finery and in their foolery. I think would be a good way to put it. Now, in order to better visualize the crime, I'm going to place myself in your position, with your permission. Oh, certainly. Mm. I come home, it's 9 p.m. I think I'll go look at the moon. I am going out onto the balcony. <coughs> ah, I walk out on the balcony. I am now out on the balcony. I am looking at the moon. Looking at the moon. 18 seconds has gone by. 18 seconds is enough time for the thief to have gained entrance. Now you see why it's important to recreate the events. Or perhaps the thief was hiding in a ledge or recess, clinging to the, the underside of the... <laughs> And that's it for the moment, but there's plenty more movie juice coming your way. I'm heading off for a bit of a holiday, so the show will be a little bit different as Alicia Malone brings you all the latest and greatest movie news. See you again soon.